recording on the morning to all patients here. Today I, Dr. Richa Jain, on behalf of Department of Anesthesia at DMC, welcome you all to the workshop come CME on ultrasound guided pain procedures. The aim of this workshop is to enlighten the practice of minimally invasive pain and spine interventions. In today's session, we will have lectures, workshops, masterclass and live demonstration of cases on interventional pain procedures being relayed from the neuroorthotic complex by our esteemed faculty. I am pleased to inform you that this session is being streamed live on YouTube as well. It's my honor to introduce to you the speakers of today's event. Our first speaker is Dr. Siddharth Verma. He is Associate Professor at Department of Pain Medicine, D.Y. Patil University, Mumbai. He is also the Program Director for Pain Medicine Fellowship. He is the Editorial Member of Indian Journal of Pain. His areas of interest are Spine Endoscopy, Cold RFA, Regenerative Medicine, Artificial Intelligence Stimulation. I welcome you here, sir. Thank you for the kind introduction and uh, uh, today I am going to uh, discuss something which is uh, quite interesting to most of you who are present here. Uh, that is uh, basics of spine anatomy. Without understanding, uh, probably we can't go uh, much ahead. So before I begin, I'd like to thank the organizers for, for giving me this opportunity to present this. Uh, what about the spine? What I will teach uh, to the anesthetist. So, as anesthesiologists, we all are quite familiar with the uh, with the spine. Uh, when I was doing my internship, my first procedure in anesthesia was a spinal, which I gave. Uh, my colleague told me, my senior colleague told me that okay, here you have to So I just push push in the needle, and suddenly the uh, CSF came, and I was you know very 
happy and uh, elated. Little did I know that वो कहाँ पे लगाना है that that was all the magic which my senior had mastered over years of his practice. So same thing happens here. Once you start to understand what is uh, the anatomy, the rest of the things become quite easy. Okay. So I have attempted to make it uh, a non-boring lecture uh, because I think जैसे anatomy बोलते हैं many of us uh, we, we kind of go off to sleep. But uh, why this anatomy again? I have already explained to you that uh, it is extremely important uh, for us to know so that we can do the procedures with precision. Okay. The future beholds very bright for the practitioners of precision medicine, and now we are going into the realm of that as well. In the two adjacent typical lumbar vertebra, so typical vertebra L1 to L4, or rather L2 to L4, there are slight variations in the L1 and L5, and I will focus mostly on the typical vertebra. There are slight variations which I will discuss uh, when we scan the volunteers. So whatever I am going to teach you, the good part is that I have got. A volunteer to demonstrate everything uh, after this lecture immediately. So I hope that will increase the understanding. So what uh, is represented on the left looks like this on the right. So during the course of this talk, I'll make it easy for you to understand all these shades of grey. And uh, probably uh, I'm sure that by the end of this, you'll uh, it it will all start making sense. So I'll be covering some basics of anatomy, advanced. Uh, anatomy procedure planning and uh, I'll illustrate uh, with the help of uh, certain pictures. This is a usual uh, spine anatomy picture which most of us know for, but for those of us who are new for the benefit of them just we need to remember is that uh, in between every two adjacent uh, vertebra we have got uh, three joints one is formed by this disc in between and two behind. We always remember this disc but we always forget these two facet joints, which are going to, it's just like a, a three wheeler. Many of us have, you know, we are in rickshaw. Mein. So just imagine the rickshaw going without back left tire. Okay. It just, the same thing happens when your facet is involved. So this back left tire of this joint is known as the, uh, the facet joint. The right one is the right facet joint. The left one is the left facet joint. Why facet? Because they are typically uh, facing each other. So if you see, uh, this is kind of a, uh, this is a axial uh, diagram and axial section. So you can see that this is facing the other one which will come from below. So uh, the upper vertebra gives the inferior articular process and the lower vertebra gives the superior articular process. And our area of interest is almost always in pain, the superior articular process and almost never the inferior articular process. So this is why we always remember the SAP, that is the SAP, okay? So this picture shows uh, three different views of the spine. This anterior view we are not, almost never going to see, but why I put this? Because in the X-ray it looks like this, okay? And this is what we are always going to see because we are going to proceed and approach the patient from behind. And this is what we should keep in our mind because this is what we diagnose the pathology of. Okay, so a 3D orientation of this anatomy is extremely important. Now I'll take the axial cut. So if you see, uh, when when the MRI is shown to you, you just try to find out what is the canal diameter and other things and all that. But the main anatomy it stays the same. So if you see the vertebra from the top, it looks like this. From the behind, it looks like this and from the inferior it looks like this okay so now why all this is important is because in ultrasound we have the power to get a very thin slice sub millimeter slice of the tissue and as a result we can glide our beam i will show you in the volunteer how we can glide our beam very nicely in between these spaces in between even this joint where you probably cannot find any space still we can glide our beam in between and we can see those of us who are doing fluoro they are very well aware of this fact, but even in ultrasound, we can see all these, uh, uh, you know, finis. Now this picture shows two things. One is this, this, this uh, these two structures which are flavus ligament, that ligamentum flavum, also known as, and the posterior portion of the dura mater. These combine to form the posterior complex. Why I am saying this is because they are very tightly adherent, and in the ultrasound they are seen as one single layer. 
which I will mostly be able to demonstrate in the volunteer. And this is known as the anterior layer, and this is composed of anterior dura mater uh, and posterior longitudinal ligament and the posterior portion of the buttal body. Usually, this is more shiny because it has bone underneath, so definitely it will be more visible on the ultrasound. It will reflect more of the beams. Now we come to the views. So there are two types of views in which we will require for understanding the spine uh, ultrasound. First view is the longitudinal view. In the longitudinal view, we have different positions of the probe on basis of which we get different pictures. And the key here is to start in a particular fashion. So many of you, or rather I will say most of you are doing regional anesthesia procedures and are aware of them. So what we do is we try to match the view which we obtained through the ultrasound with the picture which we saw in the book. And then they have given a particular way which has been replicated by subsequent authors. So pehle somebody made it, then guy 2 did some improvement, guy 3 did some improvement, guy 4 did some improvement and now we are easily doing it. Same thing happened with this and this is a particular way to scan which I am going to teach you and I am sure 10 years from now somebody is going to develop a better way but right now you learn this way so that you can get started. So start with a longitudinal view and the first thing which you, if you keep the probe in the uh, in the longitudinal orientation that is in the same axis as the spine and you keep it perpendicular then what you will see is these white shining structures which are the spinous processes. They cast a shadow in between because they block the uh, the ultrasound rays from going below and hence they appear like this. This is important to delineate the level where you are going. For example, you want to do the L23 joint or L34, L45. So you, this is this step is important because you are going to mark the level based upon this view. Okay. Number two. Now we move slightly laterally. Here we can see this structure which is lamina. Uh, are there any orthopedic surgeons in the audience? If you have a stole, there will be one or two. Okay, anyway, they are as usual very fast. Maybe it's perfect shot. Okay. So, uh, so, this is the laminectomy which they do. Okay, and uh, you see this portion from here to here is the lamina. And this is what is seen in the immediate as just we move slightly laterally from this uh, view, we can see these lamina. Okay, this, these are not the facet joints. How we make out this lamina is that you can see the rays crossing through, and you can also see these these special uh, structures. And these are nothing but the intrathecal region. Okay, so now this is the posterior vertebral margin. Remember the posterior layer, with, uh, sorry, the anti, uh, posterior vertebral margin, but the anterior layer which I told you. Okay. So, if you have forgotten, I just uh, reverse and explain this this layer. Went too fast. Okay, this layer. Okay. So this this is very wide, shining, and hard to miss. Okay. So as soon as you move laterally, this is the thing which you are looking for. As soon as this appears, you just assume that these are the lamina, and these lamina are also overlapping. You see, this one is overlapping. This one, you can see the big hole, the L5, S, S1, you see biggest hole, then this one, L4, 5, little less, then little less, little less, little less, maybe disappears as you go to the thoracic space, okay? So, here you can glide your ultrasound beams from this and go inside and see this is the anterior and this will be the posterior one, okay? Uh, so, the importance here is that Theoretically and practically, you can do a procedure when you can put the needle here and do in even neuraxial block here. Okay, but it is important for understanding the next structure, which is the area of interest. And as we move slightly more laterally, look how little movement has happened, and the whole structures have now changed. Now you see, at this point, <coughs> this has started to disappear. Now we no longer see that shining white thing and it is going less and less, less and less. Here we still can see, but this has started to disappear and this is the portion mm -hmm. where, what will appear? Okay, somebody from here. Guesses? 
वन वे नहीं चलेगा ना टू वे करना पड़ेगा आपको इसमें नीडल नहीं डालना है ओके वाई बिकॉज देखो पीछे से क्या स्ट्रक्चर पहले आ रहा है आई एपी एस ए पी थोड़ा आगे है उसके पीछे छुपा हुआ है है ना so I will just give you a, a demo so अभी नहीं अभी नहीं अभी नहीं करना है तुम बस आ जाओ very very scared so now you cannot see him okay I am not saying I am fat but still you can't see him okay so I am the IAP and this guy is SAP you can't put the needle here so to see either you have to come from here or you have to cut me okay you will not cut me i am sure no so you have to come from slightly laterally okay so i will show you thank you so if we go further ahead now what happens is we see very nice structures now these are the best structures because they cause the best shadows it is very easy for the beginner to identify okay in which regional analysis technique do we use this transverse process dekhte hain uske tip pe jate hain डायग्राम दे ऑल कवर्ड विद your muscles attachment fascia everything okay so these three views first of all the beginner should try to uh, appreciate okay now we are going to slightly oblique view now what i told you that you can manipulate the ultrasound because ultrasound is hand held and it is very easy to uh, manipulate it okay it is very easy for you to just slightly pan and tilt and get a totally different view okay by slightly i mean a few degrees also will give a huge change here okay now just imagine from the paramedian plane if i just tilt my uh, probe a little i will immediately get a much better picture now see these structures are now much more denounced and you can easily see now the posterior complex the anterior complex and they are now much more visible than what they were earlier so you can Do slight adjustments in the angle, as per the patient's anatomy, to get a better view. That's why I'll give you some beginner tips and not discuss it here. So I'm give, I'm going to give you some tips with which you can start. Those of you who are starting, and for those of you who are already done it, I think uh, uh, this will improve your uh, view. Okay. Now this was the first view which I wanted to show you, longitudinal view. Now I'm going to do the second view, which is the Uh, axial plane okay that's the transverse view also you can call it but it's it's the axial plane now where do we start here we start from the sacrum so this temple looking temple like this uh, structure wherein we can see the whole piece of uh, bone very nicely obstructing all the ultrasound you know the sound waves and nothing is allowed to pass everything is reflected and we start anatomically we place here and that is our sacrum okay and slowly what we we are going to do is we are going to move our probe slightly up now as soon as we go up this is the biggest hole which is there that's the biggest window inter we call it interlaminar window it is the biggest at l5s1 so suddenly you will find a structure which appears here okay so what is this same your old friend okay what the posterior portion of the vertebral body or the anterior complex okay so as soon as you see this you are sure that now you are here and you are in this window okay but now again as i told you who is standing in front iap you cannot give your drug here because if you try to put the needle you will inevitably hit the iap okay so you see as soon as you go up you first will find the iap always okay 
So now imagine your probe is here, which is shown by this shaded line, uh, dotted line. And if you see the superior facet joint, it is still up. But I want to see this facet joint. Now what I have to do, I will teach you uh, in the in the next slide. In this slide, the second thing which I want you to focus on is that uh, the distance of the IAP from this spine or the uh, shadow of the interspinous ligament is very small as compared to the SAP. SAP is a slightly deeper structure. So the distance will be slightly more. Now when, how you will say less or more? There is no measurement. But while you are scanning regularly, then at the same time, you will see that as soon as you go slightly below this, you will find a deeper structure which is also bone. That will be the SAP. Okay? When I scan the volunteer, I will demonstrate as well. Okay? So, now we go on further up and what are the structures which we see now? Uh, here, we are going to see these two complexes. So, this is what posterior complex which is made up of, of ligamentum flavum and the posterior dura. This is what the anterior complex which is made up of what? Posterior portion of the motor body, anterior dura and the posterior longitudinal ligament. So I think this much now you are easily able to see. Okay. Now these structures now what, what we are going to see now is the bone which is coming from here and then also there is a continuity which is maintained and this structure can be now called as the SAP. So the key here is to see a kind of a continuity and angle being made here, which was absent in the in the last picture. Okay. So now you see this is the continuity which is not being made. You can see there is no continuity here. It is not the same shade as this one, more or less. Now those of you who can't appreciate because it's too small, so I'll show you on the uh, on the uh, live patient and also. Uh, you start doing it yourself. There is no, no rocket science in it. Once you start doing, you will try to understand it. Now we further go up and move our probe further up and there will still be a shadow and this shadow will be the shadow of the interspinous ligament. Now this ligament also casts a shadow and spine also casts a shadow. You need to learn to differentiate in between the two. Okay. Now in some patients, these ligaments even may be calcified. So it will be more difficult to differentiate, but you will see a much more pronounced anterior and posterior complex when you are in the in the interspinous region. Okay, it will be much more pronounced when you are uh, at the spinous process. It will not be seen. Okay, or if you are going obliquely, it will be slightly seen. Okay, so try to keep your probe perpendicular at all times and do it oblique only when you are going to do fine tuning. Otherwise, you will lose the flow. If you lose the flow, then you start from the beginning again. Okay. So, what was the beginning? That sacral uh, S1 which I showed you in the beginning. Okay. Now, we go further up. This picture demonstrates how I have changed my ultrasound probe to the side of my area of interest. Now, all the past pictures were showing this process and everything in the middle. Now I have gone slightly laterally because I am going to put my drug here. This is the right one and as a result, I have now put my probe in such a position that I can easily put in my needle here and reach my area of interest. Okay. So before we go ahead to the volunteers, many of you must be thinking how to break into this practice. So I have put up some tips. So start scanning all patients in OPD. First of all, you should, uh, I am told that you have, you have got a lot of ultrasound machines here. So take a good advantage of that. Whatever patients you see in the OPD, uh, you start scanning those patients Okay, for uh, seeing these structures. And if this guy cooperates, you can take him to your house also, the machine of course. And you can scan him left, right, center. So then after you scan, you read again, then you scan, then you read again, then you scan, then you read again and kind of develop the uh, the uh, skill to differentiate these grades of uh, uh, shades of gray. Okay. So this is extremely important and next if possible start teaching. 
because third year start teaching the first year and uh, any guesses how much extra knowledge do you require to teach others <coughs> percentage yes what percentage boli <laughs> lagao no you are not guessing guys breakfast nahi hua lagta hai ye amit ke aage jo baithe hai madam batai guess Okay, so she says if I know five percent more than you, I can teach you. How many agree? Okay, one, two. Okay, so बढ़ाओ फिर बोली बढ़ाओ. Yes, come on. हाँ बोलिए. Because you are not speaking, so I'll pinpoint now. I'll say red suit, white dress. ये सब ऐसा बोलना पड़ेगा. Sir, one percent. One percent. You mean your actually knows one percent more than you? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I'll tell you the answer. It's only ten percent. So if I know ten percent more than you, you can start teaching. I can start teaching you. Now, but what happens with this is not only the guy learns whom you are teaching, but you also learn by virtue of you knowing something more. Okay. And this cycle continues. This is the first step. You can break it into solo practice, and probably you will be much safer for your patients. Okay, so spend some some time with the machine and the patient or a volunteer, and I think that's the first step. Now, second is schedule a diagnostic procedure, repeat diagnostic. So we are very fortunate. We have got diagnostic procedures. Today we are going to do a lot of those procedures. So what other branches have got diagnostic procedures? Like for example, angiography is a diagnostic procedure. Angioplasty is a therapeutic procedure okay then uh, for example endoscopy gastric bronchoscopy diagnostic but if you want to do some procedure like clipping that's become so diagnosis ke baad hi procedure aata hai so you start doing diagnostic procedure with your experienced colleagues in interest of the patient okay so once patient interest is protected there nobody will stop you ever okay and then of course There's a biggest pitfall. There are lots of pitfall. I just want to cover up and finish. So I am giving, going to give you the biggest pitfall, and which is do not overcompensate for the faulty technique. So needles in a वहाँ पहुँचे नहीं जहाँ पहुँचना था. चलो थोड़ा दो एमएल एक्स्ट्रा दे देते हैं दवा. क्या पता वहाँ पहुँच जाएगी है ना? But if you are in the wrong plane, no matter how many एमएल एक्स्ट्रा you give, you are never going to reach there. And in, instead, you are going to give possibly a complication to the patient. So never overcompensate for your faulty technique. If you are not sure, it's okay to abandon. You will never be sure that we went to the doctor's office, went to the operation center, there they saw that there was no procedure, they closed it and went out. That's why there will be no case for this. Okay? So this is what uh, you know, our med tips for you. Uh, I think uh, these are my references, and I, uh, this, is a, this is a nice book if you want for the beginners especially. If you want, you can go through this. Easily available. Those of you who are tech guys, I know you will never pay for it. Just download for free. But you know, I I could not give the link. So, uh, those of you who know about our programs, so PGs, so we have special pain training for as a PG students. So please uh, join in whenever we do it next. We did the last one in uh, April, and we got around 700 odd people uh, viewing that, and then. Uh, we conduct regularly our workshops. Please join us sometime. We are doing the next one in September in Mumbai. So thank you very much. We will now proceed with the volunteer session. Any questions, uh, comments, suggestions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So, how do you see? हाँ, थोड़ा कष्ट। मैं वो आगे उस तरफ बढ़ाना पड़ेगा, या तो फिर कोई खड़ा फिर। नहीं नहीं, मैं बिजी हूँ, मैं कर लूँ। आप बैठे ना। So, actually, his anatomy is good. So, I think uh, you all can appreciate it very clearly. So, again, we start from the uh, midline, and if you see. Uh, I just am trying to make a very clear view of the bone. So I don't think there is any doubt that this whole bone portion is continuous. But now, as I am going to move up, you see that these rays are going down. Okay, this is one foramen. So lateral from this vertebra, there is a foramen. So you will see the S1, S2, S3, S4 foramen, one in uh, all in line, one below the other. So how do you find all that is? Just see, there is no passing of the rays from here, but as soon as you go up, these sound waves they pass below, and you can see there is something which is allowing it to go here. So this is bone which is obstructing, this is bone which is obstructing, but here uh, it's going down. Okay, you can decrease the depth. Uh, no, you won't. It's a curvy linear problem. Okay, okay, okay. I'm already. Or at either you shift to the linear probe if you want. No, ma'am. It's okay because next okay. structure deeper. So, but I think you all can easily appreciate, uh, there is no, uh, no ambiguity about this. So, I am continuing to go up more. Now you see this bone thing becomes more, more, more and more clear. And now what we are looking for is something here. So see, my hand is slightly moving up, up towards his head. I am in exactly midline, perpendicular position, curvy linear probe, no other thing, okay? And just going up, 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 if you see, what is happening is now as I go further up now you see this structure came up here that means there is another breach in the bone and this is some structure which we can see that there is another foramen or we, we can go laterally to see if there is something else so this is not the foramen why because now I can see the continuity of this bone here okay so this is the L5 S1 so if I want to give up uh, uh, you know, medication here. I can try and give, and I will find the uh, the one of the nerve roots which I want to anesthetize somewhere here. Okay, but right now we are focusing here. I am doing the basic scanning and trying to show you how when I go up, 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 up. Now you see some rays are now passing. You saw this white thing has come up. So here there is nothing. Now as soon as I go up, there is some rays now are coming down and you see this is becoming more and more more and more visible i go further up further up further up it becomes fully visible can you see okay now i want to make it into uh, two layers so i want to show you anterior and posterior layers okay so i will try to show you the anterior and posterior layer here So what I am doing is, I am going up and up, further up, further up, further up. Now, I am adjusting the far gain. Well, I can see some structures here. Only I am not able to see two layers. Okay, so now I can see that the layers are going from inside. You can see this is the posterior complex which I can see clearly and if I go further ahead this small whole round thing you can also see the anterior complex. Now you can see two layers here. I will show you. Please continue. Please. Okay. So, so the first which one which comes with always will be posterior. And the key here is that in the posterior one you will always see some sort of uh, some sort of shadow also. So you can see this is this may be split. 
but the interior one will never be split it will always be complete because it is a bony structure and all the rays which are going criss cross also will come up so i have frozen the image just to show you that how much thickness it will be so you see this is point uh, almost 5 6 so it's 1 cm approximately that is 10 mm and this is the approximate uh, height of this also okay so the thicker sac is almost 14 mm or something like that so you have to approximate that if it is uh, the posterior one is here so anterior one must be here and try to improve the image which we will try in this patient okay so let's attempt to do it once more so we go from up Uh, from down below and we start going up 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 and as soon as we are going up we try to find out this first one which comes okay you can now easily make out that my rays are going inside and then as i go further down further down you can you can see this second one also came now okay you can see the anterior layer also i will show you just after freezing so this one is the posterior one this one is the anterior one okay again see here I will again show you. This one is the posterior one, and this one will be the anterior one. Okay, posterior, anterior, posterior, anterior. Okay, posterior, anterior. Then you further go up. As you go up now, further, now it it disappeared because now we get the spine shadow, and spine will allow nothing to pass through. This is the L5 spine, and as soon as we get it, we are now seeing the structure here. okay you can see that this process is coming and there is another process which is here you can clearly see a space between the two so if you want to go in the joint you can go from here this is the facet joint but if you want to do the medial branch so then you have to come laterally and try to make this portion accurate so you want to go here and not here this is for the joint so most of the youtube videos you see they will come from here and give the drug here and patient will have relief also yes why not because they going to give so much of drug that it is going to spread everywhere all the youtube videos you see most of them will show needle coming here drug here and spreading here but what i want is i want my patient to be better long term i have a lecture uh, on uh, it's not a block if i get a chance we'll uh, we'll we'll talk on that today okay itself so now you see i'm going laterally 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 and i'm trying to now make this joint more accurate but i am not able to why because i am at the l5 level and there is something which is obstructing me from here what is this iliac crest you see anatomically also you will be able to make it out so that means anatomically at the l5 s1 level i can only reach in many patients the uh, uh, this portion only with certainty as a blind jana hai to hum jayenge or there is another way where many authors what they have described is they have described an out of plane approach wherein they have gone inside out of the plane because out of the plane you can go but in the plane you cannot go because when you start from the skin you will hit the bone first okay but i will don't worry i'll show you the l41 so now for the beginner special tip don't try with l5 s1 first choose a patient which is l4 l45 facet okay so let's let's go up again once we stop we lose everything so we start from here i'll repeat it n number of times so that it you know you just so this is one for a man probably this is s2 further i go up 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 why s2 because there is still one above it jisme last aayega that will be the s1 fir usse upar se niche aa jao sometime you can give an s2 block also here directly okay now we go further up 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 again i am getting one more pass okay but this one is not the S one, this one is already past that. Okay, now I see the rays being passed. Okay, you can see the structures here. So my rays are being passed. I go further up, 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 and I see what is known as the triple hump sign now. And you will be able to see three structures. Further up. Okay. so can you see these three clear structures now okay haan ji okay so now this is idhar se aaye ye pehla speed breaker ludhiana ki gali ka hai na 6 foot ka aur dusre baad ye dusra correct 
so now what what is this is this is the iap which is very close to the spine okay why spine nothing is passing below thoda bhi chhodta to mante the ke it is interspinous okay now you see this thing is very clear now i can see a very nice angle which is being made this is the sap this is the iap this is if you want to go in the joint this is if you want to go in the middle branch groove okay i will unfreeze and try to improve my image okay now how i will improve my image i want to go now this side and i want to make a good contact also and yes so this here we freeze now kitna safed hona chahiye pura safed hona chahiye hai na ye kali screen hai aapne isko dho diya hai rin se ekdam just imagine you have to be this white all throughout agar yahan break aa gaya nahi chalega so cause for failure then you put your needle and feel it should stop you should feel hard bone ye nahi ki idhar dikh gaya udhar ye actually kya hai anesthesia na sachche suchche logon ka kaam hai cheating nahi kar sakte aap hai na so same thing is in pain also even exaggerated hai usme to aur zyada hai anesthesia mein uska bach jao hai na dose calculate nahi karni aati roz utna dete the humne bhi de diya chalo thodi aadhe ghante mein nahi ek ghante mein bahar aa jayega patient hai na but idhar nahi hoga ठीक है, सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी नाइसली लेट्स गो अप फर्दर सो दिस इज आई आई शोन यू वन वन लेवल नाउ लेट मी गो फर्दर अप एंड कोलेबरेट ऑल दिस नाउ यू सी दिस टू स्ट्रक्चर अगेन कमिंग है ना यू कैन सी क्लियरली टू स्ट्रक्चर्स हेयर लेट मी ट्राई एंड मेक देम मोर सो हाउ आई एम मेकिंग देम बेटर जस्ट बाय स्लाइड पैनिंग जूमिंग टिल्टिंग ओके यू कैन सी दीज टू स्ट्रक्चर्स This is the the uh, first one. This is the second one. This is the end, uh, this is the posterior, posterior segment, and this is the anterior one. Okay, so you can see that in between will be the space. Ma'am, can you freeze? Okay, so calipers can see now. So let us measure now. Okay, so you measure from here. Set, set. Let's see. From set, see, I go. Enter, see, I go. डिलीट करो नहीं नहीं मैं बंद कर देता हूँ डिफरेंट देन माई सोनो सेट आई ऑल्सो यूज सोनो सेट बट माइन इज एस टू So it's like this. So okay. So, so see, this seems to be approximately one. So we'll measure for you. Two. Don't worry, we'll measure yeah. for you. Ah, this yeah. is one, and this is get it down. Set. And just one. Ah, okay. And this one is the other one. Okay. One point point nine eight centimeters. So you see, it is point nine eight. Okay, in this patient, and then, of course, allowing for the inaccuracies and everything. So it's almost it should be one centimeter or above one point two one point three as a sum. Okay. So now this is what level? Usually they take MRI slice at the disc level. This may or may not be the disc level. Okay. This may be uh, because I, this is interspinous level. In between the spines, uh, the ligament is there, interspinous ligament that is allowing some rays to pass, and that's how we are going to see all these structures. Now why I am showing you this is that. कहा जाना है उसके साथ साथ ये भी पता होना चाहिए कहा नहीं जाना है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टीच यू यू नो दूरक्शन क्लास बट नेवर गो देयर सो ऑलवेज मेक श्योर यू डोंट गो देयर बिकॉज वहां जाके आपने दो सीसी डाल दिया कि ना कॉट और वो सो यू विल हैव एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स है ना सो डोंट गो हेयर जस्ट वेन एवर यू सी दिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू अवॉइड दिस ओके ओके नाउ आई ऑल्सो शो यू द Longitudinal. This I showed you the uh, uh, the uh, axial cuts. Now I'll show you the longitudinal structures. So now longitudinal structure is for our marking. Okay, so ye one way I have told you this. I did not need the longitudinal. Still, I knew where I am. But initially, to start with, you do two two methods together, so that you are gaining more 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 and more confidence. and there is no ambiguity koi shak nahi rehna chahiye theek hai so you see this big structure this is sacrum 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 as we go up 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 now you'll start seeing that this 
there is a window which allows some rays to pass so this will be the first window and you see the structures there okay i think i have got slightly parameters let me improve my view yes so we go up 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 and you can see the spine on top okay then you see further up further up further up further up further up further up the second spine can you see सेंटर ऑफ माई प्रो लाइक दिस ओनली आई वॉन्ट टू मार्क दिस एंड देन आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट ड्रॉ लाइन देर सो वाई सेंटर ऑफ दी प्रो बिकॉज फर्स्ट आई विल मेक इट इन टू सेंटर ऑफ दिस स्क्रीन देन आई हैव अ मार्कर हेयर इन द सेंटर ऑफ माई स्क्रीन तो उसके साथ में पेन चला देना थोड़ा सा सो यू विल बी क्लियर वॉट वॉट मार्क इज दिस एंड वेयर यू आर डूइंग ऑल दिस यू आर डूइंग ऑल दिस टू स्टार्ट विद इन योर इनिशियल पेशेंट्स इन योर ओपीडी यू विल डूइंग पी एस सी है ना पी एस सी के लिए स्पाइनल असेसमेंट कर सकते हो आप Now how you uh, you say how कैसे करना है spine का assessment हाँ huh? so that also I will teach you it's not uh, today's topic but uh, probably I'll teach you this also so for example now you can see my rays are passing through this depth you can see ah so I will freeze my thing here just a second I'll just freeze it okay so these are from interlaminar window this is passing okay so now if i have to put my needle for spinal i will easily put from here i will go and i'll reach here okay tuffier line is inaccurate that's why you do multiple tries but since you are so experienced you do five spinal a day every day so you get that knack of it but if you want a complete accuracy i can calculate how much Will be the distance. This is actually the anterior one, so posterior one is here, from where this black thing is starting. Okay, I can just uh, do panning and maybe uh, improve this. And you see how much distance is there? It will be shown. Just a minute. So if I want to go above the bone through the skin, I can go like this. Or if I want to reach from here, because I will not be able to go from here, so I need to. calculate this distance probably i'll go like this sliding on the lamina and i'll reach this and you can see this distance is 6.6 cm and what is the length of my needle which i use for spinal every day 9 yes so 8 cm plus minus something okay 9 hote hai 9 cm the 9 okay so are you understanding so there are lots of thing which you can do there's no limit to it If there is an obese patient, you can calculate. You can find and locate and mark the space before the procedure. So, how do you start doing chronic pain procedure? Is nothing. Why anesthesiologists are best at it because we are already doing most of the stuff any which ways. So you can easily do this. This is not impossible. Okay. Okay. Uh, laminar view. I want to show you uh, so that I can improve this. अभी तो ये आपको मैंने spinous वाला view दिखा. Now let me show you the uh, spine calculation I have already shown you. Now let me show you the laminar view. So first we'll make the spine wall view. This is the spine wall view. You can see the top spines, okay? On my back, my back one. So you can see the, okay? You can see the spine. Now let me move slightly paramedian, and you will start seeing the lamina, okay? This is the laminar view, and you can see these lamina. Remember that picture in the slide which I have shown you, okay? This is the lamina, and Now I'm going to just tilt my probe. Till now I'm perpendicular, like this. Now I'm going to slightly tilt, and I'm going to come from here. And this will improve my view. Can you see this view improve? And in this, I can see clearly two complexes. Let me आगे वाले में दिखो. Yes, please. So if you go laterally, you will always be able to see much more and with much more certainty. Okay. Now let's measure the space here. Wo L45 measure kiya tha aapne pehle. 
अब उसके सॉरी एल फाइव एस वन अभी एल फोर फाइव करेंगे एक ऊपर का स्पेस सो वी जस्ट मेजर वी गो फ्रॉम हेयर नो माई ट्रेनिंग इज ऑल्सो कम्प्लीट ऑन दिस मशीन सो आई होप आई विल बी क्विकर सो यू कैन सी इट इज वन पॉइंट वन नाइन अब आप एम आर आई करा लोगे इसका या पहले से करके आया होगा पेशेंट देख लो दिस इज हाउ यू प्ले विद दिस दिस इज रियल बी आर और ए आर ओके सो नाउ दो ऑफ यू आर सेंग मैं सिर्फ एन एस सी जाए करना चाहता हूँ यू यूज दिस इन यूर एन एस सी जा प्रैक्टिस दो ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू वेंचर इन पेन यू कैन यूज दिस इन योर पेन प्रैक्टिस ओके सो यू यूज द टू ओके सो आई फोन द पैरामीडियन व्यू नाउ द लास्ट व्यू विच इज द फेसेट व्यू ओके सो नाउ दिस वॉज द लेमिना and now i'm coming further out further out further out so i will find the facet view this is the facet view now what happens is uh this as i go further out from this facets also uh, my rays will start going and they will become very continuous like it this is the transverse process view okay so again going from here inside you can yeah you can see the three transverse processes with isme dhoka nahi kar sakte cricket ki teen wicket ki tarah hai dekho teen hi dikhenge ek view mein hamesha just imagine These are not in the books. I just made it up so that I can understand better. So, this always cricket IPL hai. So, look, look like this and remember like this. Okay. So, it will always will be three in one plane. Patla, mota, kaisa bhi aate hain. ठीक है उससे ज़्यादा नहीं आएंगे. दो आ सकती हैं. चार नहीं आएंगे. ठीक है. Unless you are doing pediatric patients. Okay. So now we come closer, 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 closer. Now this becomes the facet view. We go further, 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 further. This becomes lamina view. Now we go further, 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 further inside, further inside, further inside, and you see these lamina will disappear. Now slowly they are going up, up, up. Can you see? They are going up. So as you go further inside, they will become the spinous processes. Now see something will appear at the top. Here are the spinous processes. Okay. Now further you go out, you can see this, this spinous processes. Ah, correct. Then let me freeze. Can you? Okay. So, so these three humps you can see. One, two. So these are all spinous processes. So you have to play with this to understand. Today, some of the things you may not understand. I'm damn sure. So when I saw this lecture for the first time, I was also not able to understand a lot of things. But it just gave me one confidence that this is possible just with this probe. Okay. So I think we are done with the spine. Yeah. We move to the next uh, this thing. Okay. Can you have the lights on, please? So any doubts, any questions, anybody wants to ask anything? Guys, feedback live. सब सो गए, अंधेरा हो गया. Everybody is sleeping. अंधेरे में black and white movie दिखा दी. सुबह सुबह, Sunday को. So ultrasound has everything, shades of grey, black to white, and there is some grey in it. So basically, if you know what you want to see, you will see it. It is as simple as that. <coughs> okay. Now we go to the next part. So we are going to teach you the knee. Knee is very easy. Okay. But also very less risky, unless of course you don't take steril precautions and then get an infection for yourself and for your patient. He is a permanent volunteer for our RA fellow exam. You know his anatomy is really wonderful. बस एक और चीज़ एक और चीज़ बच्चे एक sheet ये तो ये ये नहीं ये बोल रहे हैं पहला एक और चीज़ इसको इधर रख दे बाप ये चलेगा ना हाँ चलेगा ना ये तो नीचे वो रख दो जब नीचे वो रख दो तो आएगा Okay. Sure. Comfortable, na? Yes. So for this, we use a 
linear probe. The, for the first one, we were using curvilinear probe. Curvilinear gives us more depth and uh, uh, frequency is lesser. And this one gives us less depth. Now, important thing: the higher the frequency, the better the structures. Okay. Everything so you will get much more clarity in this one. And this machine was quite good, so we could see easily with the uh, uh, curvilinear probe also. But uh, that was 2 to 5 megahertz. This one is, it is showing 6 to 30. So there are various modes. You can use these settings to make sure that this emits only 6 megahertz and only 13 also. And a mix also. Usually it is set in the mid range. Okay. So now we are going to start this uh, examination for the knee. Okay. So what I am going to do is, I am going to today teach you not how to evaluate the meniscus and everything, just a basic anatomy of the knee. And I expect that you will start now doing this scanning in your patients. And once you are finished with your duty, you just will not let the machine go away from you. And you will just catch hold of whomsoever you can get and you will just scan there. Okay? We have four machines in our department, but all of them are always busy. How many of you are do, uh, doing PG here in this hospital? Raise your hands. Maximum hoonge na? Very good. Jinka Sunday barbaad ho gaya aaj. So, I think I expect you guys should so just bounce on the machine. And don't take this guy. He's already exhausted. Exhausted. Get a new one. Okay. Can, can you have the lights off please? You can also put up a poster. Free ultrasound scanning of the knee. And see if somebody turns up. I am damn sure somebody will turn up. Definitely. There are a lot of people. Okay. Whether it is all or that light, this light is not the same. No, no, no. I will do this. 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 Exactly. Camera man. No, no. 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 Where is the probe? I am just dropping it at 90 degrees on the knee. Nothing, nothing else. I am not doing anything else. Okay? So just see. Increase the depth a little. What is this fibrillar structure coming up? Easy guess, guys. What is this structure? Very good. Come on. So it is quadriceps tendon, which is going on down, and then patella is a bone, systemoid bone in between this tendon. Okay. इसी में उगी पैदा हुई पली बड़ी है, है ना? So then we go up further, and we see one more structure here, which is now just deep to it. Okay. So this this is a recess, which is a potential space, and it is a suprapatellar recess. This is our area of interest. इतने देखना हम। और femur की जो वो है वो वो एक बार आप देख लो ये this is the femur, okay? And that is the quadriceps tendon, and this is the recess. Now how do you make recess wider or thinner or whatever? There are various maneuvers. I am showing you just one. अगर इसमें fluid होता, I am just squeezing the knee like this, okay? And you can see that things are moving here. Now I'm not moving the probe, I'm just moving the, I'm squeezing the thing. So can you see there's this black line or something is coming here. There's a little bit of fluid which is normally present here. If there's effusion, you'll find a thick layer here. If there's very big effusion, you can put a wide bore needle and take all of it out if you want. But before that, look, putting a needle in knee joint is extremely easy. The difficult part is preventing infections, preventing complications, preventing this. So I repeat, do not do this in non-sterile setting. This is the biggest pro problem. Non-sterile means that the air is clean. Look, how do you do TKR? What did our orthopedic doctor do? He couldn't wear a banana in TKR. He had a banana in the shirt. He had x-ray vision. So he could see what you are wearing in the shirt. So you had to be absolutely as an anesthetist. Then it was so cold that I was almost dead. Okay? 
and then it was super super sterile as per him why this was he was not mad he was trying to give a super sterile environment and your uh, you can say passion for sterility should be this high after that agar kuch ho gaya to mareez ki kismat hai lekin uske bina hua to then it's your fault okay so remember this and now this is not difficult you can easily put a needle here what's difficult okay now i am going to turn this 90 degree like this okay with the marker towards the medial side of the patient now look how i'm going to do it so when i reach the area of this black thing which i can see little 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 then i just turn slowly slowly look how slowly i am going and i am turning this by 180 degrees okay now what i can see here is i can see in the bottom i can see the femur okay i can see the patella here okay i can see the recess here and this black thing which is in the bang middle of my screen now this is the portion where you will see the fluid okay okay let me try and bring some fluid for you to read the question okay can you see this can you see this little bit of fluid and sliding things on top and bottom you can see this sliding thing i am doing this maneuver i am just pressing and releasing तो दर्द तो नहीं होता नहीं होता तो बाद में बोला सर आपने बहुत दर्द की है ना सो दिस यू कैन सी इज दिस स्ट्रक्चर ओके एंड यू कैन सी दिस स्लाइडिंग लेयर्स एंड आई एम जस्ट दिस इज मीडियल दिस इज लैटरल एंड यू आई आई कैन सी मोर लैटरल बिकॉज़ आई विल पुट माय नीडल फ्रॉम द लैटरल साइड इन प्लेन एंड पॉइंटर इज मीडियल सो दिस इज मीडियल दिस इज मीडियल एंड दिस इज लैटरल ओके and i have to go bang in the in the in the center okay so you can see this potential space there okay now here these are these muscles and all which are going so that we are we're not not going to discuss with that okay now i am focusing more on the uh, uh procedure part okay so not the diagnosis part here but uh, any diagnosis is also very interesting now i'm going to the lateral compartment okay i already told you about the injection now in the lateral compartment what i'm going to see is i am going to see whether my meniscus is at my correct spot and also i am going to see uh, the condition of the uh, ligament which is the collateral ligament okay and uh, these all i can uh, very nicely visualize uh, so i will in yeah i will decrease the depth and i will try to make it much better for you all to appreciate it's visible behind everybody yes So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in some jelly here, and then I'm going to proceed. So I'm covering him all around with jelly. So you see, this is the shaft of the femur coming, 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 becoming. This is the junction becoming metaphysis. now coming 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 behind and now we want to find a kind of a discontinuity here so i am moving my uh, this up and down you can see the irregularity and the pattern has started appearing now here somewhere we will find a dip and this is the dip which we can see and now here the tibia starts can you see this dip okay now what is the structure in between this is the meniscus young healthy meniscus but you see why this is black because of anisotropy This is a phenomena where if I change the angle, it will become white. So I am changing my angle. Okay, white. Okay, can you see? Okay. So now again, let me show you in a better way. Okay, okay. So now, ma'am, that throw us over that throw. We call it structure or anything. So now you see there are also structures. This this middle one was the meniscus, and this is the now the tibia. I'm going to the tibia now, and just going down, down, down. You see this white glistening structure also coming and following me, and it will now get inserted here in the tibia. And as I go down, I'm just going down, 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 down. Can you see this structure is going and continuing? Okay. and just let me show you the where it inserts i just am going to turn slightly
So this is the TPL condyle. See the bone. So I'm coming down now from here. Okay. So uh, what is the uh, bone which is on the lateral side? Tibia or fibula? Fibula. Yes. So now what? As I go down from the tibia, I will start seeing the fibular head. Okay. This is I'm on the lateral side. Okay. So as I go lateral, 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 I'll start seeing the fibular head. So this bottom, this big round thing is the head of the fibula. Okay. Now I want to go up and show you the collateral ligament insertion. Okay. So I am sliding my thing up, and can you see this structure which is coming up from here and getting inserted here? Can you see this insertion? These fibers. These are the fibers of the collateral ligament which get inserted in the tibia. You can see them beautifully inserting. Now, if there is a black area here, that means the discontinuity is there. These are nice fibrillar pattern. You can see, बिल्कुल सीधा सीधा दिख रहा है. There is no uh, structure which is uh, shown in a very black manner or wavy. Uh, the usual fibrillar pattern is lost. हाँ करो. Now you can see. So, you see. So this portion, which is slightly black, now what will happen is this will. If I just tilt my probe, this also will become white. So if it becomes white, that means it's normal. But on the other hand, if it stays like this only, and you find some more collection, some more fluid, something, that means there is a tear, and after that there may be a inflammation which is set up here. Other, you see all these line, longitudinal kind of this. You can see this white fiber running like this. This black one running like this. So this is the normal regular structure of the kidney. So the first is coming from. So normal regular structure of the uh, the uh, collateral ligament. Okay. Now once you go down, this will uh, you will see the fibular head. We are not going to the fibular head, and uh, the area of our interest is the medial one. With this medial one, you will see this structure again, and it, you will see it very nicely because we are going to do the genicular. Uh, Location also there. Okay. Now I'll show you the medial structure. Now the same thing comes up from top. In medial, the meniscus is slightly thicker. Okay. The height is slightly more. Well, and I forgot to mention that we can measure it also. I'll just me measure it. Actually, there is a lot to uh, see here, but uh, sorry. So you see, this is femur coming from up. So as I go down, 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 I am at the condyle, 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 condyle. Okay. Still at the condyle, condyle, condyle. Following the condyle, dip. Okay, there's one dip B and then there is this one. So now you see this structure. Okay, and I want to make it a little better. This triangular structure. So I'm going up and down. I'm scanning throughout. So I'm. This is me coming towards the ceiling. This is me slightly going down, down, down towards the floor. And you see there is this structure which is here. this now so this structure is the the meniscus and you can see the femur ends in here and the tibia starts from here okay now you can also measure it okay you can measure what is the the diameter okay the tears are not very accurately diagnosed if you think there is a tear like we can see a very fine i'm sure this is not a tear but but you can see something this black thing coming out from here okay so ultrasound is inaccurate for tears of meniscus so that's for that reason you do the mr you want to see the tears okay and uh, this is especially important now another structure which i want to show you here only in the same view is this ligament going up from top of it and a fine structure which we will try to appreciate abhi appreciate nahi ho raha hai that is the iliotibial band Which we will appreciate and trace it upwards and try to show you in this patient only. Okay, uh, that comes in the lateral view. So uh, this is the medial view. In that lateral view, I will just appreciate, uh, uh, you know, make you appreciate the iliotibial band also. Okay, उसमें दिख रहा था. So but I just forgot to mention. So medial side view we have covered. Then only the genicular nerves will be left. So before we go ahead, let's go to the inferior side now. Okay, that is the just below. Now you see after the patella ends. So this is the patella is ending now. Still the the ligament uh, this uh, quadricep tendon continues, 
and it goes below 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 to be inserted in the so that is a bone which is this okay so insertion dekho ab suppose kya koi patient aapko bol raha hai ji iske niche dard hoti hai hai na upar nahi hoti beech mein nahi hoti so you with the help of ultrasound you can actually delineate can you see the very nice structure which is very homogeneous can please kare so this homogeneous structure which is there is you can see this this homogeneous structure and this is the insertion of the tibial tuberosity so very thin or very small tuberosity is seen this big so that that's that's uh, you know what power you can have now just imagine if there was slight tear here some wavy pattern something we may see in a case we have a case here today so in that once we scan we may see that so then you will be easily able to diagnose that Okay, now, now we go on to the genicular nerves because we have a case for that. So I want to demonstrate that, and then we go to the OB. So how many genicular nerves are there? So there are many genicular nerves, but out of which we try and locate four. <coughs> and actually most of us block 3 and these are only the sensory supply to the joint not the skin so many times patients ask are wo sun ho jayega fir humko mehsoos hi nahi hoga fir wo sab hoga so it's just a sensory supply and you are going to numb very distally so that means there will be lot of anatomical variation and as a result there will be very high failure chances but still we do it why because 10 log hai usme se छ में आपने अगर सक्सेस ले ली तो आपके छह पेशेंट्स दैट्स अ बिग नंबर ओके सो दो थिंग्स यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर ओके नाउ सो आई एम फर्स्ट गोइंग टू शो यू द मीडियल जेनिकुलर नर्व बिकॉज दिज आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मोस्ट कॉमन ऑस्ट्रोथ्राइटिस इज सीन इन द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट ओके सो लेट एस सी दंक्शन ऑफ दो दीज हाउ डू वी लोकेट दैन we cannot locate these nerves without the vessel which is accompanying them because because they are very 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 tiny and what we do is we simply place our uh, probe here on top and just relax ourselves also patient also and then we try to find something which is pulsating here i'm just going to depth go kar do so bada bada dikha Okay. Concentrate your eyes on this point. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to try and find the pulsation. Yeah. So this does not show the uh, many times this does not show up on the color. So you have to eyeball it and see. Okay. Can you see this now? I'm skinny, John. मैम लेफ्ट में आपके इसके लेफ्ट अ पॉइंटर डाउन और फिर अच्छा भी चलो हां सो यू कैन सी दिस इज दिस फाइन कैन यू सी आई एम नॉट मूविंग माय प्रोब नाउ क्लिप ले सकते हैं क्लिप दो आगे ओके सो नाउ इफ यू लूज इट यू कैन मेक इट अगेन Not a problem. Okay, now there is one catch here. Many times, what happens is you have to, since it's very small, and your Doppler may not confirm it. So you have to be very aware that it can be a shadow of some other artifact also. So now, what I am scared of is, and that will lead to failure. And failure means patient se apne charge kiya but patient thik nahi hua. Iska matlab practice khatam. So now what you want to do is you want to make it more accurate. so can you see this structure here so if sometime you see a structure here and then you see a pulse here you have to be double double sure so what you do is you just try to position i personally have verified but in that that case you just try to reposition your probe and see with some other angles slight variation that whether you can still see the same pulsation okay and what i do personally is i uh, tell my fellow 
if he can see then only i agree okay and so that there is a confirmation and he is not so uh, you know well uh, this thing if he can see that means definitely it's there okay or uh, this is what i used to do earlier now i have become probably over confident uh, so now i just will go out the plane and give the drug there okay so those of you who are starting so start like this and take a break if you feel you can just take break relax uh, you know देखो अभी हाथ काम नहीं रहा है बिकॉज यू आई हैव नो उनके कैसे पकड़ना है आप लोग को मेनी टाइम्स यू होल्ड इट सो स्ट्रॉगली दैट आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स योर हैंड विल स्टार्ट ट्रेवलिंग ओके हां वो हटाओ के प्लीज तो हो जाएगा यार इस क्लिप को दोबारा बोलो बैक में जाना पड़ेगा इसे इसे मैम एक मिनट दो इसे नहीं बट वो एस टू में भी ऐसे है कुछ कहीं भी हो टूटी दबाओ तो वापस आए सो नाउ लेट्स गो डाउन एंड सी वन विद टीबिया एंड देन वी एंड दिस डेमो सो नाउ यू रिमेंबर यू सो द टीबिया लाइक दिस द ओनली थिंग इज now you can also see this ligament fibers very nicely the collateral ligament and they are going down now why i am telling you this is because the genicular vessels are very close to this ligament at the time of its insertion okay so you very smartly you go very close to the insertion of this ligament and you will find the junction also there that is the epiphysis metaphysis junction also there and you will also find the vessels also there okay so let me uh, Let's put in more jelly. Let's show you again. So we are seeing again coming down, 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 down. Okay, now we go here, 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 here. So you can see these fibers, and now this is the junction. Okay, and you see the vessel here. Now here, 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 here. And for searching you need to find and make it very yahan pe easily dikh jati hai dekhiye ha mam ye hata lo aur usko deep kar lo the depth aap kam kar diye beech wala tha so can you see this in the middle of the screen i try to make it more stable by using two hands just for your purpose so can try seeing here ये शायद डॉपलर में भी दिखेगा ट्राई कर लो एक बार कलर से ओके सो आपने मारना है डॉपलर नहीं हुआ तो डरना नहीं समटाइम इट्स मे नॉट बी सी ओके सो इट्स नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट्स जस्ट प्रैक्टिस ओके सो आई थिंक वी एंड हियर लाइट्स प्लीज लाइट्स सुखी any questions till now no questions is se kuch khraab nahi hota na baad mein bolna nahi any questions okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to break for tea for 15 minutes and we'll take dr sadhar to the ot we have many cases lined up but we are just going to show you might be just three cases two spine and one knee rest cases me and dr siddharth and dr sudeep sir you will also have to change and come inside with us and uh, we'll do it without disturbing you guys but for transmission uh, we are only going to show you three cases two spines and one knee right shoulder i wanted to show but then on indian standard times we are running a little late right we will see in the afternoon session if we can show you the shoulder joint right so i think we are going to break for tea right now theek hai post lunch ek bari shoulder please disperse and uh, now it's uh,
10:50, so we should be back here by 11:05 in all circumstances. I hope this is interesting to you guys. Yes, it's an eye opener to most of the audience over here. So now you can realize that what ultrasound can do, it can do wonders, right? Please everybody proceed for the and then we are going to go उधर वाला ये चालू होने दो थोड़ा ये मेरा साउंड ऑन है उधर जा रहा है तो बंद कर दे 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 तो बंद कर दे
कंप्रेशन वी कॉन्ट सी जहां जहां मेरी उंगली जाएगी ना वहां जूम कर लेना सो इफ यू सी कमिंग फ्रॉम हेयर सो दीज फोर आर क्लियर द राइट वन एंड माइंड इट द पेशेंट हैज लेफ्ट साइडेड पेन so we go on to the left sided foramens and we can see that they are also clear so foramen is as clear and if you see the disc you can see the l5s1 there is a slight this whitish uh, hiz which you can see is wale pe focus karo aur zoom karke ye jo chota sa dikh raha hai ye dekho ha so can you see so can you see please reply so can you see this Can you see my hand from the hall? Mm-hmm. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. We can see. Oh, okay. Who is it? Richa. Richa. Doctor Richa. Okay. So, Doctor Richa, can you see this uh, pointer? Yes, sir. So you can see this black disc with this white portion here. Yes, sir. So this is not the CSF coming in. So this is nothing but the annular tear. And now we go to the axial image to see the same tear here at this level. And you see. This tear is here, okay? And you see the nerve, the nerve roots are absolutely fine. There's no compression, so most likely it's an inflammatory, uh, you know, pain which she is having, okay? So, uh, so in her case, if you see this, this is a facet. You can see this left facet. It is hypertrophied. Can you see this facet? This is the uh, the inferior articular process. This is the superior articular process. and you can see this white line in between which is the fluid inside the facet okay can you appreciate that okay so now we go on to the patient and uh, we start the procedure so we have the patient prone which we have sanitized the uh, made sure that you have taken all the safety precautions as it is a very prospective manner much much helpful for our settings and we are using sterilium uh, for uh, the instead of the fry gel okay okay so uh, okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, now do the scanning just as i showed you today in the uh, workshop so you can see uh, the sacral crest and as i go up slowly now you can start seeing uh, the elements of anterior posterior thecal sac and yes these are the elements and as you go further up now you see there's a trishul or the trident sign okay so you can see three structures one yes so these are the lateral masses and you can see the transverse process now what i want is i want to go slightly uh, towards myself that is towards the left side of the patient and i want to now make uh, and make sure that i am at the junction of the sap and the transverse process and at the same time making sure that there is no uh, no black region or it's a continuous piece of bone where i can then hit and and, and drop my drug so probably i am aiming to reach at this point okay and what i am going to do is i am going to this is a diagnostic procedure guys so i will drop the uh, medication uh, with the help of a needle and i will drop it here so just let me make this better yes so you see this white thing dropping down and then it comes up so as soon as it comes up that's the point where i want to start okay and i'm going to go uh, in the uh, longitudinal plane that is in with the axis and i'm going to uh, give the medication there okay so let, let me just uh, make this more clear okay dar dar ho raha hai okay so the patient has some pain here because there is a boil very close to it so usually we will not do you know what not go any near to it we just want to stay away from it I 
give some some amount of local.
You can see that this is the L45 window. My rays are going down, and this is the yes. So you can see that they are crossing now, and now they just stop crossing, which is the L45. Now you cannot see anything beyond this. Okay, and let us make the IAP. So you can see the IAP is now very clear, and also if I go further, just right here. So you can see this. The IP is now very clear. So you can see this absolutely clear. Now this is the trident sign again. So you can see three structures: the shadow of the uh, spine, interspinous ligament. Then you can see the IAP uh, and uh, also the facet joint at, at the lateral portion of this structure. So now pointer here. How it's very good. So this this portion. Now I'm going to come uh, laterally and try to keep this in focus. And at the same time, go slightly down, so that I can now make the junction between the transverse process and the SAP a little clearer, as much clearer as I can. If I cannot, I can also give at the joint level. So I'm trying to do it slightly oblique also to see whether I can get a better view for you all. Okay, so I think. Can't get better than this, but this is the best view which I can get. Now you see here, there is nothing which I can see. Here the IAP comes, and just see the position of the SAP. As soon as I go slightly down, you will start seeing the uh, SAP also. You can see this in in this. You can see. Just can somebody point? Yes, this is. So this is the point where I will want to give my drug, and. For that, I will just first stabilize the view, then give the local. You see, it's a very quick procedure. So I'm just giving. Madhi, do this with a little. Ah, nila, 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 nila. Jada jo ka, kuch nahi hoga jada. Bas. Bas ka. So I have given raise the skin wheel one slightly inside. Just an anesthetize the region. Okay. Okay. Try to improve my image. Try to make sure that my hands are not having any pressure. No more pressure. Okay. So in this we will try to show you in the longitudinal view also that you can see. Cranial end. It's better to be at the cordial end. 
uh, so, so you should not be at the uh, caudal apex, better to be at the cranial apex. Okay? So I think we are done with this. Uh, now we are just going to achieve some homeostasis. Hemostasis rather. And we go with the transphenomenal procedure quickly. See on class. Standard and very good. Thank you. Thank you. So quickly we are going to see the CR view. So we are going to give her L5 level transphenomenal. Which is very close, which is going to deposit the drug very close to the pathology, which is the annular tears at the alpha S1 disc. Okay? Local or normal here? बड़ी वाली बुलेट रहता है बड़ा हाँ बड़ा दिखा रहा है ये वाली ये वाली इसको बंद भी कर सकते हो अच्छा सब कुछ तो लैप कर दो मैं तो अच्छा दिखे हाँ जी आ आया नहीं आया So probably I'll go at this point and I'll just give a little bit of local.
ਵੀ ਗਿਵਨ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਲ ਯਾਰ ਨਾ ਰੀਲੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦਾ ਉੱਤਰ ਲਈਏ ਦੇਨ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸ਼ੋ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਆਰ ਰਿਪਲੇਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਲੋਕਲ ਲੀਡਰ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਹਾ ਹਿੰਦਨੀ ਮਾਜੀ ਹਾ ਹਿੰਦਨੀ ਸ਼ੋ ओके सो शो सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू गो इनसाइड इन द टनल व्यू एंड वी आर टू अटेम्प्ट द एंट्री इनटू दिस फॉरन शो 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 we are almost inside maji ab taan mein jhatka jayega thoda sa agar to batana nahi jayega to bhi chalega okay so i am just reloading the video shoot at this point i will like to turn lateral and see for the safety table like side copy jayega na because i am little table check kare yes dr reja i cannot hear you machine down the side of protection of machine yes 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 sure मशीन डाउन ये भी दिखाइए मशीन डाउन 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 uh when the needle is about 2 and a half 3 cm inside okay so we have to be actually at the upper outer portion of the uh, this foramen this foramen is a round thing and we are slightly at the middle portion so i will just turn my bevel in such a way and just push slightly inside gear down turn with gear down ha theek shoot so i push slightly inside maybe i like to just give a die and check where i am shoot So now I have removed the stillet. I have put in the other view. So I have removed the stillet. This is the lateral view. And now giving the. ये इधर दर जा रहा है. काम में जा रहा है दर. Okay, I have made. So that means I am very close to the nerve root. I may withdraw my needle a little bit. हाँ ठीक है, ठीक है, ठीक है भाई. हम रुकेंगे. आपके हिसाब से चलेंगे घबराओ नहीं. हाँ. ठीक. Shoot. Okay. So you see the. For a minute, filled with the drug, local. And this is the point where she has lot of inflammation. So I'm going to give her. Can I give her a little bit of local here? Maybe point two five cc, and then we might try. Okay. Bus. So what I do is, I will always reconfirm. I'll wait for the local to act, reconfirm, and see where my die is going. Okay. माजी दर चला गया ना मुंडे चला गया ना शूट स्क्रीन स्क्रीन हो ओके सो नाउ आई हैव गिवन माय डाई हेयर एंड आई विल जस्ट चेक इन द एटी व्यू वेयर आई एम ओके एटी जीएचजी का सिलेंडर में मैं डिस्प्ले करूं डिस्प्ले ओके ओके गुड जीरो 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 एक जीरो एक मिशन मिशन very good so this is just a zero degree ap view we want to check whether so you can see the dye has nicely filled up the nerve root okay and it has outlined the whole of the nerve root and the kind of pain which she had makes me believe all the more in my diagnosis and hopefully she will have extremely good relief because not only we have taken care of her facet which was uh, causing pain to her but we have also addressed for other issue which was this probable annular tear causing the leaky disc which is leading to inflammatory reaction so what i do in my practice is i always give little bit of uh, drug and little bit of dye again to reconfirm shoot
So just see here all the drug will go. You see everything has become light. And now with the final shot, before I take out my needle, I'm going to show you the dye spread inside the abdominal space. Shoot. So you see it has spread in the abdominal space also. You can see it flowing down also. And this is where I wanted my medication to come in. Okay. So it has now outlined the traversing route also. So if you can see, this procedure per se is over, but I will show you in this picture. So say what is it? इसको इधर ले आओ, बस। अच्छा अभी तो कर सकते हैं। ओके, so we're done with the case। You can have pointer। So I can have the pointer here। So if you see now here, you can see this is the L5 root which is coming out of the L5 level. So this is the L5, this is the pedicle of the L5. We name the nerve root which is coming out from in the name of the vertebra from which it comes out. On the other hand, you can also see the outline of the uh, other roots. And this one is the S1, which is which will come out from this. So this, my drug has spread all the way from the L5 to the S1 and also gone inside. So I am hopeful that the patient will have good relief from the inflammation. Okay? Thank you. So I am ending the uh, session from my side. And we'll just join in. If there are any questions, comments, we can take on now. Should we continue discussion in the uh, medical seminar again? Okay. So we will continue the discussion in the medical seminar room. We are coming there only now. Okay. Thank you. Please, you have to be ready. Please, you have to be ready. Yeah. Okay. Second ready. After that, the innovation should be done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we are going to give PRP for her and we are going to give genital nerve block. So for the PRP injection, we have uh, made the PRP, we have taken the patient's own blood and we send it to the blood bank over here. And Kudichi, uh, can you zoom in here? So I have taken the PRP, it's in a 5 ml syringe, you can see it over here, right? And uh, other things which I have with me are 1% ligno uh, with a 100 centimeters needle and I have uh, again uh, ligno uh, with canopod with some amount of antibiotic in my 5 ml syringe. Is it visible, Richa? Okay? Yeah, can you, can you hear me, Dr. Richa? Okay, great. So now we are going to first locate the genicular nerves and then we are going to go for the other stuff. Okay. So, so, as today in the morning we saw, we are going to do the same stuff from here again. So, this is my marker. This is marker R. Since this will be an out of plane procedure, so usually it's quite fast. But sometimes if you don't find the vessel or something, it can take some time. So the curve is not very pronounced as I can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just so you see I am bang on at the uh, junction and I can see one of the vessels which is pulsating very nicely on the center of my screen okay and uh, can you appreciate that? Yes sir. Okay, so can somebody put Doppler? Yes, Doppler. Oh no, sorry. Color, color. color. C, C the boy. D ko the hata do. D ko hata. Two D the boy ka. Ha, it's very good. So we may be able to see some pulsations, or may not also. Those either or na. Isko beach mein lao. Isko beach mein lao. Upper shift, niche shift kar, niche, niche. Ha. Depth bhi kam kar sakte waise. So I have just given the local and I am just waiting. So we will put the feedback. 
So this again is out of plane. I am slowly tracing it up and down, trying to find the pulsation, trying to be as accurate as I can. Sometimes it may take a lot of time, but you must locate. Okay, so let me bring this in the center of the screen. Okay, can someone indicate the uh, game for us?
So the point is very accurate. I am just trying to find the pulsations here. Okay, so now you can see this pulsation. Mm -hmm. Dr. Richa, you have to tell me if you can see it. Otherwise, I can't proceed. Bang in the middle of the screen. Can you see? No, no, no. No, no. Down. Down. Near the cortex. Near the bone. Yes, slightly right. Focus here. Okay, take the pointer off. Can you see the pulsation now? Okay. So, I'll try to attempt to place my little uh, uh, but position is actually quite difficult. Let me sterilize my hand. I can hold it for a long time. Okay. So, I'm going to come from inside now. Okay. Inside out, just local and unit.
am very close. You can see now I will just hit the periosteum. That is, abhi thoda sa dard hoga. One minute, one second. Hua? Okay. Aspirate. Aspirating. Negative. No, I am. I am. I am. I am not top. Yes. Yes. So I will go down. Bas, bas. Further. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. And local. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot see now because I, so I cannot change my middle position. Are we there? Yeah. Okay, okay, no problem.
most of you know, I think you are doing much better in than I am doing. So you start seeing your needle.